I am speaking with Chris Geruso in Artist Alley at ALA 2012 in Anaheim. And Chris, um, tell us about your work. I write and draw a comic book called G-Man. It's about little kid superheroes. G-Man has a magic cape that gives him superpowers. It's kind of a hybrid between the traditional newspaper humor strip and the superhero adventure strip. Um, which is appropriate for all ages. It's not the, it's not the grown-up superheroes that uh, the, the major publishers have kind of turned into these days. Who are you publishing through? Uh, Image Comics. Excellent. And um, why did you set out to write an all-ages superhero comic? Uh, because that's what I grew up reading, and that's what I've always liked. Uh, I've always liked the in innocence of that old kind of stuff, uh, the fun of it. Um, you know, I, as I was growing up reading comics, the the genre, the superhero genre, also grew up, and and you know, I constantly heard them saying, you know, comics aren't just for kids anymore because they were trying to reach this a new level of validation and sophistication, and they succeeded in it so much that there really aren't any many superhero comics um, available for little kids anymore. So I'm kind of uh, preaching the 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 idea that comics aren't just for adults anymore. Excellent. And um, how did you get your start in comics? I got my start in comics as an intern at Marvel Comics when I was in college. Got an internship. Um, I learned like a lot of the ins and outs. Uh, just you know, was a, basically assisted in editorial office. Did a lot of photocopying, mailing out books to people. And um, after I finished that, they I went and graduated. They hired me in the production department where I learned all the production stuff on the computers, formatting files, sending them to the printer, all the, the bare bones stuff. So I had, so I knew how to write and draw my own comics by that point, and I also knew how to uh, produce them on the computer and send them to printers. And um, how has your reception at the ALA conference been this year? ALA reception has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, I guess there's been a big movement, you know, where a lot of librarians and teachers are now embracing the idea of graphic, sequential graphic literature, comic books, um, for all ages, whereas in uh, the regular comic book industry where I'm more familiar with, I keep running into the obstacle of people saying there are no young readers here, so I'm finding the young readers here and a lot more uh, people willing to take a look and, and read it. And what role do you think libraries have in creating those young comics readers, and what do you think librarians can do uh, to help with that? Um, well, I don't know. It's, it's so much a matter of what I think they can do. It's just what I've observed that they are doing is that they're, they're spreading it. They're getting it out there. They're exposing kids to you know, graphic novels and comic books that they otherwise wouldn't be exposed to it. Um, you know, when I grew up, comics were everywhere. They were in comic book stores, but they were also in the supermarket. They were in uh, the, uh, the delis, the, you know, the liquor stores. They were all over the place. And now they're not, so getting them into libraries is usually the way young kids will get exposed to them, because kids don't tend to wander into comic book shops, and there aren't that many comic book shops, but if kids are in the library, there's all kinds of stuff for them there, and, and librarians have been really good about showing them the newest stuff, and the, the graphic novel market's really growing there. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Chris, and have a good conference. Thanks.